Well, I think it means a great deal to both universities. Uh, there's a lot of heritage, a lot of rich tradition in this game, especially uh, being one of the, uh, being the first HBCUs uh, to play college football. It's always been a rivalry in any sport that we play uh, against Livingstone College because of the close proximity, but certainly because the schools are similar in nature. Uh, both are private institutions, they're only 45 uh, miles away from each other. Uh, it is a rivalry at best. Uh, bragging rights, if you will, uh, for the I-85 uh, quarter. Uh, whoever wins that game has bragging rights for, for a year. So. We're very much interested in making sure we're prepared to win that ball game. Well, you know, there's, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, hearsay and there say about how this game really ended. Of course, you know, with Biddle University now Johnson C. Smith uh, being the winner of this game, there's a lot of historians from Salisbury saying, "Hey, uh, that's not quite true on that Christmas Day. I mean, or Thanksgiving Day." So, you know, that's something that you know that most definitely needs to be cl uh, cleared up. And I think with this going into this first classic, uh, whoever comes out victorious on this side, hopefully one of the sides will give in and say, "Hey." You know, they were the winner of it. Johnson C. Smith University holds the most victories against Livingstone in this uh, class. And so we, we plan to continue that tradition this year. John C. Smith is here in Charlotte, right? Lemonstone is just right down the street. And um, and so they get to play each other. And so I think it brings recognition to it because more people will be uh, more uh, more people will be in tune now on what's going on at these colleges, which in turn helps the colleges grow. Because now I have, uh, you know, something that, that um, I got a vested interest because they got a big game coming here every year in Charlotte. So even though I didn't go to that school or anything, all of a sudden it becomes a community thing, a community event. This is something, the kind of game I think has the growth, uh, the potential to grow like the CIAA uh, basketball tournament. It's gonna provide an economic impact uh, to, the, to the region, to the Salisbury, Charlotte uh, region, if you will. Uh, because it's a, it's a game that's going to attract former alumni, uh, former students, uh, interested uh, persons to come back to these areas and visit because of those games.